This week's video will return to Sue's favourite campsite in a stunning location on the shores of Loch Morlick. I take a swim in the icy cold waters of the loch, Sue enjoys running through the extensive woodland trails and we sample the local cuisine at an alpine feeling ski bar. But before we get into that, welcome to our channel. I'm Kath, this is Sue. We're enjoying our retirement, travelling with our two dogs Archie and Fudge, whilst living full time in our motorhome. Recently, Sue competed in the Great North Run, whilst I've been making the most of rivers for swims and hills for walks. So why not come and join us? Well, good morning. So you're joining us today, very close to Pit Lockery. Now we're not staying here, we've had one night. It's a caravan site called Milton on Phone Ab. And uh, we decided to stay here because I thought we needed electrical hookup. We didn't really, because we had quite a long drive from the last place. So we'd gone from 20% in the battery up to almost 70% by the time we got here. But never mind, because it has got a toilet block. We've stayed here once before. And seem to remember that the showers were really good. They were like wet rooms, really good, not push button. Actually, that's enough. There's some people in a motorhome opposite who are just leaving, so he's decided to make himself known. The next place we're moving to, and it is a caravan site, but it's Sue's favourite place. If you've watched this channel for a while, you might be able to guess where we're going to. Well, here we are. Now, if you hadn't guessed it already, Sue's favourite campsite is Glenmore, and it's right on the edge of Loch Morlick. And literally through those trees over there is a direct path, which is, I mean, it's probably a hundred metres and you're on the shore of Loch Morlick. So why don't you come with me and have a look? Less than a hundred metres from where we're parked and I'm here. I am definitely going for a swim here. How could I possibly avoid it? So this is our first afternoon walk, going along the beach and just around the corner. There is so much walking around here, it's, it's unbelievable. So, this is your favourite campsite. It is, yes. Is it as nice as you remember? Yes, it is. Although this time it's even better because it's not quite so busy. And we haven't been here for 18 months, but is it still your favourite? Because we've been to lots of other places in the meantime. Well, as campsites go, I'd say yes, it is still my favourite, but some of the park-ups we've been on recently. Are, recently have been outstanding as well. That is true. I'm glad you like it anyway. And um, just for anyone that's interested, I've just worked out there's a midweek discount at this place at the moment and we are, where are we, 30th of October and it's cost us something like £26, 60 something pennies uh, a night which, you know, there's a nice toilet block, water waste, all of that stuff. Uh, it's open all of year round, Sue was just reminding me of that, it is open all year round and it's in an absolutely gorgeous location. So we're out of season obviously, but I think that's pretty good price for, for this place, given the location, given the facilities. And I don't know if you can see in the background, just behind me there, there is a sort of a cafe um, on the other side, well, it's not even the other side, it's just around the kind of the bend. And it's just, I mean, it's gorgeous and there's woodland trails everywhere. Our dogs love this. <laughs> we love this.
good morning. Just look at that view behind me. Well, the lock is totally magnificent at this time of the morning. It's like a mill pond. I know it's going to be cold in there because it's about, I think, zero or one degree at the moment. I know water doesn't fluctuate in temperature quite as much as the air does, but I know it's going to be cold. But I'm not going to be able to resist that. There you go. Always a drama. So after a cold early morning start, time for a cup of tea and a bacon butty. Well this is it, I'm going in. Wish me luck. Is that you wishing me luck Archie? It's a lovely sandy bottom on this water. Oh, just starting to see the water creep in and just like the other place it's actually really really dark um, well, probably because of all the peat well, it's shallow for a while Ooh. I'm so glad I've got a wetsuit on quite a long way out and I can still touch the bottom at the moment yeah I'm out my depths now Fudge made a run for it just as we came down here and yesterday she found a um, a camp <laughs> with a couple of dogs bowls outside so I think that's what she was going for anyway I'm going to put my face in the water in a minute and see if I can bear it <laughs> We've already seen that Glenmore campsite is on the edge of the lock, but also surrounding the lock are these wonderful woodlands. So Fudge and I are doing our usual, going off for an afternoon stroll together. And believe it or not, way up there, you can't see it. Um, it's too, the camera's too wide angle, I can't get you into it, but there is actually some snow on the peaks and it's, uh, I think there is some snow predicted for tomorrow. That'll be exciting. Yeah, another interesting fact about um, this site is it's owned or it's managed by the same company that managed Cashel Camping, the one that's beside Loch Lomond that we went to a few weeks ago. They all, you know, both of them used to be part of the camping in the forest chain that were kind of administered through Camping and Caravan Club. Not quite sure what the arrangements are. There's certainly no end of footpaths around here, which take you through this beautiful woodland. Nice, easy walking, good trails. So we're not doing a long walk this afternoon. You can actually do, I think, a whole circular of the lock, which will be a, would be a long walk. But we're just doing a short one this afternoon. And another thing. This is red squirrel country. I 
that's well and truly off grid. Don't know how you even get here. There's obviously a, a track that leads in. Looks like it's been here for a while though. Be a good place to base yourself, wouldn't it? Right in the middle of nowhere. Although looks a bit abandoned and sorry for itself. Anyway, let's carry on. Just about there, I can just make out a building which could be um, the ski lift, top of the ski lift. So Sue and I came to this area for our honeymoon a long time ago. I'm trying to remember, uh, 16 or so years ago. And I plotted us a walk. Now, we were obviously a lot younger then, but I miscalculated on our walk. And it took in, during the course of the walk, a number of Munros. My, my memory is hazy, it's one of those traumatic things because it was 13 and a half miles to the top. <laughs> and I'd miscalculated that having gone around the back and up the back of Cairngorm, we then had about another four mile walk to get back to where we'd parked the car. And uh, Sue ended up leaving me and our old Labrador, as it was then, Oscar, lying by the side of the road about a mile from the car and she carried on and came back to rescue us. <laughs> oh. And then I got myself stuck in the shower because I made the mistake of deciding to sit down in the bottom of the shower and I couldn't get up again. <laughs> now once again having OS maps on my phone is great because although I'm walking really well indicated or you know they're, they're they're forest trails that vehicles have been along and some of them are better than others this one looks as if no a vehicle hasn't been along it for a while um, but I will just say if I was actually going up into the mountains I would also make sure I had a paper map of the area you know you can't rely on your phone battery sometimes signal so I just thought I'd say that because although I love the app I use it all the time if I was actually walking up and trekking into these mountains then I'd definitely have a paper map with me as well anyway safety briefing over uh oh our path is blocked so over or under that is the question it's up to my waist. Fudge will definitely be an under. Well, I think I might to try and climb over it. Let's see. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good girl, you can go under. You don't need to go over. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> beach just in front of the campsite down there so this is it this is Fudge and I getting very close to being back at the campsite we know that because we're crossing the little footbridge over the river so it's about 100 meters and we're back on the campsite what a lovely walk maybe see you tomorrow maybe see some snow Good morning. Well, we were supposed to wake up to snow this morning. It's just rain. Probably won't film much today, so we'll see you next time round. If it does snow, I'll definitely give you a glimpse, but it's just rain now that's forecast. Well, Sue and I have come out for lunch. It's the first time all four of us have been out for lunch for ages. And we're in like a ski lodge, ski shack. It definitely has a alpine feel about it in here right down to the log burner as well cheers cheers good morning we've woken up to a most glorious november morning no wind it's not raining it's not snowing there's even a little bit of blue sky 
it's cold and there's even a little bit of ice forming on some of the shallower bits of water but this is our last full day at the campsite tomorrow we're due to move on so i think we're going to leave it here so you know like subscribe and all, and all that stuff and thank you so much for watching see you next time Oh